what's up guys this is the rifleman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war let's play as venice and in this episode because the the ottoman empire have decided to declare war on me we have pushed our troops south to attack their capital of damascus and i think their most wealthy region so hopefully this will put a stop to their shenanigans so they've got a mortar set we need to be a bit careful how we handle it so that we don't cause any massive problems if we take the city and we hold it, they've got an army that may land near Egypt. They have another army near Jerusalem. If we can turn around the, the assault on Damascus quickly enough, this army could push southwest towards Jerusalem. And then I would try and see if I could declare peace with the Ottomans and push them away from the Mediterranean completely. That would be quite a decent outcome, I think, for us. Like I said, we've got... <laughs> we play it very carefully here. Because got, they've got mortars, which can be absolute snipers. So when we attack, we need to attack from... Really from multiple directions at once. So let's put an attack group over here. My pikes can go in through the breach, but they are also going to be um, bait. <laughs> bait for the bait for the mortars because they love aiming at pikemen. So the objective is to make a few holes in the wall so that when we push, we can push from multiple directions. And we're less likely to get boxed in and stuck. All of our guns are up. We're going to be successful at making our breach, but they're aiming a bit high. Garrison Azar, Garrison Azar, a couple of armed populace. There's an Islamic swordsman unit in here, which is a bit spooky, but mostly it's armed populace. Yeah, we are aiming a little bit high. We're going to demolish that armoury behind if we're not careful. But we've only got two batteries of artillery making our breach. So we've got to be fair. They're doing a grand job as is. 67. I mean, I at least want two breaches. Just to really spread out their ability to protect, or to prevent them prevent them from building up their strength in any um, one area. And then when we push, we are going to push. Although I've made the mistake of speeding up. Or increasing time compression too much. Now they would... And instead of shooting what I want them to shoot at... There we go. Couple of hits. But the intention is going to be to try and get through here with as few casualties as possible. And if I had mortars or howitzers, that would be super. We could clear them out, no problem. This would be fine. But we don't have them. When we push, we need to push from all directions at once. And that is why I want multiple breaches. So I can push through here, here. These guys can secure this corner. Maybe attack this gate and push through. This gate and push through. And just overwhelm them. That would be my objective. And then once, once we're ready to move, we need to move fast. So I don't want to push moving up into the fort here until this component is probably up to 80 something percent damaged because they seem to be struggling to hit it. I know the terrain's not ideal but the cannons are lobbing their shots so direct line of fire isn't a huge concern. But yeah if we push in from as many directions as we can we split their mortar fire up. They can't hit any one attack too decisively. 
Right, here we go. Cavalry advance up. Uh, send one pike unit here, one pike unit out here. They do like aiming for pikes. So one unit secure the gate. Grenadiers hold behind it. To be honest, two units hold behind it because we could capture it in one go. Mortars are firing. Yep, they're engaging the 27th Regiment first. retargeting what are the odds of them going after this pike unit pretty high I think We're going after the first regiment the garrison of Zars are here they should be able to scale the walls and brush them away quite quickly Excellent. They now have two access points to cover. 11th Regiment, secure the gate, even though it will trap them. up and secure an entrance. Pikes are going to hold here, ready to push through the gap. Here they come. We effectively have to take the gate by storm. We have to take the city by storm. We, we don't really have the... There is no benefit to us for us to uh, wait. Push the cavalry in. Pikes in. So we're fighting the garrison Azar on the top. You men hold fire. If we can secure this gatehouse, which we have, push through. If we can kill enough of these Azar. We can clear out the armed populace. These men get over here. Let's get my cavalry to run against wards where the Azar are holding out. Back, get my cavalry to attack the troops here. Send my grenadiers to storm to try and attack the Azar here. The troops here are just holding, waiting for the pikemen to grind their way through the armed citizenry. No, 
stay in the center. We'll actually get some infantry to stay in the center. And then Bayonet charge the flank here. Kill the enemy general. It's caused a rout. There we go. You're their commander. GG. Excellent. But that was a bit of a bit of an escalade, but I think it's worth well we kinda of had to do it. Take the city. And then we will prioritize oh no, the replenishment of our troops is already underway. Let's replenish the city's infrastructure. Where's my agent? Begin converting Damascus. Bring them into the faith to get rid of this religious unrest. Send my spy. We'll infiltrate Jerusalem. There is an enemy stack out here, but that should be... Well, that's the force we buffed up earlier, so that's okay. You're over here on the flank. I mean, yeah, this this force afloat could do something, but I don't think they will. Let's see what you do. Cairo is growing their garrison. Senor. This this force could end up, depending on what this guy, what this army does, marching to attack Jerusalem, capturing it, and trying to force a ceasefire potentially. Apart from that, things are looking okay. Obviously there is the Russian threat over here, but this is why we're recruiting extra troops in Vienna to pursue and destroy them. Konya, stop with the drums and instead get on with... It's probably got to be some of the, the these um, naval techs because they're just... we're so far behind. Okay, let's hit in turn and let's see how the world reacts to what we just did. Ultimately, if we get into a position where we're starting to push... Hmm. I think if we want to start pushing in towards Persia... Well, I, I think I just need to stop aban abandon my research of all the advanced financial techs and just rush quickline because I am getting... There are way too many troops out there. I can't deal with them all. Yeah, the Ottomans sense an opportunity. But then again, as do I... Is it is it risky? Is it risky? Let's try and go for Jerusalem. Try to capture it. Try to make and then try and see if the Ottomans will, will make peace. Because they might not. And that's why it's risky. Catholic Mishri and Anatolia. God, you just these guys are all about Christianity. Yeah, they're now starting to push in towards Ankara, which is where we may run into trouble. You... Okay, I think... Cairo Garrison is pretty strong. They don't have any defences to help push these guys back. I think we just need to... I mean, it's going to be a turn of recruiting. But I think if I get some extra artillery in here, these guys could defend against quite a lot. See? But it would be the same again. I would move you guys okay. by sea, attack this force and the garrison, destroy them, push them back, take Jerusalem. It's, I'm tempted to try it, because I think you can hold off. 
signore. Pronti a virare. Signore. Pronti all'azione, cani! Massacrateli! Oh, but actually, this, the garrison isn't going to join in very well. We need to fight this carefully. We need to make sure we lose the fewest men possible, then proceed with the attack of Jerusalem and see if we can make peace with the Ottomans and push them all back and move up our front line towards Baghdad. Because Baghdad's a really good defensive position in the Middle East. Guns up on the hill. Found them. Howitzers. Open up. Found them. Deploy our line in one nice long formation. Cavalry on either flank. Howitzers get ready to fire a carcass shot. We now have put artillery's done some good work. Janissary, Musketeers, Grenadiers, Hand Mortars are particularly spicy units. The artillery needs to just engage their mounted element. Their infantry detachments will be dealt with in due course. Just oh, you're just out of range. Okay, let's push you men up. Good hits. Keep my howitzers working their infantry block. You devils! Cavalry have hacked apart the Armenian archers. See if we can shatter them, which we have. The cavalry's coming to try and get after us. Make the 20th Regiment fire, uh, form square. Keep my cavalry moving. Try lure them into the enemy, into our square. Howitzers target the camel nomads. Howitzers start firing round shot. If you don't need the firepower, really. Nope, cavalry, fall back. This is why we have a square. For you to run through, for them to run into, and for them to be destroyed by. Excellent. Let's 
Let's push up. Keep bombarding. I don't form square, I don't know why you broke and decided, you know what, maybe this is a great idea. Silly infantry. Now my regiment of horse are in. That'll see them off. Traps are stoically advancing into our position. And where's my general? Get my general in here. Go after these camels. Turn off all the artillery fire. Excellent. Yes, we want to continue. I want to shatter those camels. Mostly, though, I want to kill these janissaries. Not so bothered about the small units of artillery up on the hill. We might be better off to focus on one infantry unit at a time. He says, immediately jumping between two. Okay, you go after that unit. You, the other unit... Go after these guys. You're going to escape. It's all up to these guys. Well, there they are. They too are going to escape, but they took a lot of losses here. Certainly compared to us, we did not lose many at all. Yep, we lost 111. Avanti. Let's go after Jerusalem. Let's see if this pays off. If we can take... It would be really interesting if we can take Jerusalem and then see if we can make peace with the Ottomans, make them move all their troops off of our front line. And then maybe start to establish some defensive outposts nearer their territories. Maybe that's an option. Oh, lots. The terrain's not great for destroying walls. You guys can engage from there. Howitzers can engage from the safety of the the wall. Now we're gonna be. We've got a lot more options here. We don't have to rely on surrounding them. Which artillery focus on bringing down the walls? How it says, hit that center with carcass shot. So good. Especially as these mortars are now actually within range. Yeah, there they come. Okay, we're taking 13 of their crew. That's pretty nice. We're still working on that breach. Four crew left. Whereabouts? Which gun are they working? This one. Let's attack it just a bit short with both of our howitzer units just to make sure we do get them. Killed another crewman. He's still working the gun. They are still working the gun. 
could just try and attack them deliberately rather than relying on the area effect. Okay, no, they didn't like that. I think they've destroyed one of our guns. They have. Precision artillery fire from the AI. The sort of precision that we don't really get. These look more promising. Somehow everyone else around them died. Keep engaging. Our artillery are about to make a good... Make a good breach. See, two crew left, one gun. They're still giving it a go. We are still getting some good secondary hits from them. There we go. The mortar crew is gone. Gunners engage that section of the wall. So that's not the only mortar. They still have mortars around, but we've at least thinned one of their units out. It's kind of the the best you can really hope for. Yeah, you can engage that section of the wall. Yes, you can. Easy. Let's get one unit to keep attacking ground here. Another unit to keep thinning out the centre. So when we do attack, we want to be against as as uh, neutered a garrison as possible. Although actually, yeah, mortar, mortar, arm populace, camel gunners. Their mortars are out of range unless we unlimber, which I am probably not going to do. Shots coming in, a bit short. If we can knock this section of the wall down, we'll get a lot of kills. Yeah, we've done a huge amount of damage just from our artillery fire before we've got anywhere near the city, which is really nice. Because it's, it's Venice, you know, it's taken us a long time to get to this spot. To be able to just drop a bunch of artillery. Good hit. Drop a bunch of artillery right where we want it to do maximum amount of damage. Ooh, we've killed their general. That's really good. And a couple of units waver as well. A few units waver. Make a huge damage here. That is almost two units of Israeli that got obliterated when the war collapsed. Perfect. Now we make our move. Artillery just puts just land shots into here. Exactly like that. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. And I think I'm going to focus on the centre as well, because this area is quite weak. To be honest, a lot of it's quite weak now. We've done a huge amount of damage. Which, considering this was quite a big risk, I'm quite glad about, really. More bouncing shots into the middle. Great hit. Superb. See, this is with attack ground as well. They're just lobbing shells, rough shots, roughly where I want them on the ground. They're not worrying about targets and line of sight. They're just going, that's where we want to shoot at. And they shot at it.
good hit on the arm populace back here. So many good hits. This city is just doomed. Capture the gate. Be ready to advance through the gate. These men advance in. They appear to want to advance and stop us. The Riskers of Souls are coming in. Oh, it's a stop dropping. We start dropping round shot onto the enemy. Onto the enemy artillery. Janissary Grenadiers. Camels. There's a lot of panic here now. They don't quite know how they want to act. Let's push in. Put artillery ceasefire. Let's throw a couple of units in ready as a reserve. Form up here, start shooting. You men form up here, start shooting. You men clear out the last of these Mamelukes. One of our units looks like they're about to break because it's a bunch of Bylock armed populace storming in. Form square for the enemy cavalry coming in. Engage the Azar. Try run through the gap. I mean, I was going to say, if they're going to open the gate to us, you guys secure the gate, we'll just run in. They've bound us, they've cut us off before we could try and charge into the center. The gate is ours. In we go. Right the way in. In cavalry gonna strike the back of these archers. Infantry gonna go in and clear out the out the mortars. archers they don't know what's coming heat killing run the cavalry through Units are breaking left, right, and centre. There we go. We've applied enough pressure. The entire force is broken. Huzzah! Now, let's see if this paid off. Let's see if <laughs> they accept peace. Quest piece. Yes. And they don't like us. Well, they don't have to like us. And now we are we are trade partners. That's right. Clear off. 
Excellent. Demolish the shipyard at Gaza because you've already got one at Limassol. Same here. Let's recruit. Yeah, let's recruit some, some sloops. Start occupying the ports. Which I think light galleys are a shade. Oh, no, light galleys are exactly the same. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's start to get some repairs going in Jerusalem. I mean, Elat is one of the only buildings in the in the world actually that can build a potter's. Although I am tempted by a church school just to try and really drive down this religious unrest. Excellent. Back you go. Although to be fair, yeah, you know, I am get I have got a religious agent on his way. Although more is always better. Three and a half thousand. Let's build better roads at Damascus. Make sure my army is being replenished. Excellent. So I put a rake here. You're no longer needed here. You can go up to Yerevan to keep an eye on what's going on up there. And you can head west towards Tripoli to see what's going along on the on the uh, Barbary States front. But apart from that, that's pretty good. You've dug in, which is handy. One, two, move in out. In Pronti. In. Uh, one more unit of conscripts can be freed up. Avanti! Avanti! Per il paese! You can move towards Venice. Bolster this front, they could push against Spain, destroy this Spanish territory, and then effectively give it away, maybe? Oh, Rumelia's developed. We haven't got the, the money to do it. Blast. Still, what are we on for next turn? 20,000. That's a lot of scratch. We're going to need a lot of it, though, to bring... I mean, Jerusalem's going to start earning us money. We're just going to start earning anyone money soon. And Damascus is ready to start earning. Great. Okay, so Verona, skip that. Get on with reorganized procurement so we can build the army board. Research down to quick climb as fast as possible. Konya, let's get you on with... Crop rotation, maybe? We've got a lot of farms that we can upgrade. Although, no, keep going with the navy stuff. Or they go for seasoning. It's the cheaper, easier tech to get. Exceptional. Let's hit enter. It's only a matter of time before the Ottomans declare on us again. But when that happens, we're, gonna, we're in a much better position to drive westward, or eastward rather. Because when we, st when we beat the Ottomans, we have to bear in mind... We're going to be against the Persians. And the Persians throw lots of troops at you. They build huge amounts of Kizilbashi infantry. And they will overwhelm you if you're not really careful. Ah uh, yes, Spain. The other pustule of our, of, our, uh, <laughs> of our part of the world. At least Prussia has Hanover to keep them on their toes. How about we do all this, except I'll even give you division of labour. How about that? I want to maintain as positive as possible relations with the with the with my neighbours to the north. I have no intention of starting another war. While my current position is so strong. 
I may be, it may be worthwhile building up my navy. It will be worthwhile pushing across North Africa. Because then we can take Tunis, knock out the Barbary states. And then eventually start to threaten Spain from the south. And eventually the Ottomans should start to suffer from financial issues. They should start to realise they can't... Well, even though they get kind of fake bonuses as the, the AI, they will realise they can't actually keep that going. Peace of the Barbary States? Nope. 22,000. Okay, yeah, we want some ships. We want to be able to pick off these Spanish raiders like this. Firstly, let's send sloops around to occupy these ports. So let's get Gaz upgraded. Let's get Latakia upgraded. Let's make sure our road network is good so that we can more easily run people around the Empire. Let's get... A grand Opera House for Jerusalem. Actually, no, Jerusalem's pretty happy as it is. Limassol. Let's recruit two fourth rate ships of our line. Then we've got 8,000 to play with. Upgrade the roads, let's upgrade the school at Graz. Set them to research puddling furnace. We're not running into problems yet with our eh, could yeah. Punch card loom's quite a good take to get. I want to bake in as much economic goodness as we can. I mean, yeah, you're really grumpy. You will become less grumpy as our heavenly father heads on heads his way down. Damascus, I mean, we're already chipping away at it quite nicely there. Egypt's recruited a lot. Turkey's got a better garrison now. This force could grow over time to be a force that attacks Tripoli than Tunis. And to be honest, I'd be tempted to attack Tunis and then say, right, call it there. I don't need to necessarily push into Algiers, but I've secured Austria's eastern flank. Maybe jump over and attack Cagliari. There's a lot of options. A lot of options. I mean, my head of government's not great. Speaking of, actually, I haven't been paying attention to my... Okay, you're... Okay, you're... Okay, you're best at the Navy, but then again, so are you. I think I want you there. You're not as good, but I can put you there. I mean, he's exceptional from... He was exceptional for my Navy, but I didn't have much of a Navy. So it's not as much of a... Okay, let's boot my Justice Minister out. Capetio Loja. Pietro Loja in there. That's helping. Excellent. In attesa di ordine. Right. Okay, keep, keep sinking our money into our economy. We've got quite a good military force, or a military 
production capability now. We're a lot more secure. We've got a decent amount of force in Europe. Yeah, they're bolstering their garrison. Eventually, Prussia's going to come after us, but I'd like to think that our relations are actually going quite well. They're, see, they... No. Don't want to give you stuff, Prussia. They'll try again, for sure. Same as the Ottomans. They will try again. And this is where we need Quicklime. With Quicklime and Howitzers, come at me, bro. Carcass shot's okay, but it's not brilliant. Russia sending additional troops to our frontier near Hungary. Hungary seems incredibly valuable to lots of countries. Hanover. It's interesting that Hanover had a pop at Prussia, really. Twenty thousand seasoning, super. Can you handle the college upgrade? I think you can. Palestine, more conversion. Okay. Then we have another sloop to protect. No, no, not the infantry. The, the, the sloop. We'll keep on advancing. Oh, this agent, he loves it. He's 25. He's going to be around for ages. Although, to be fair, it's going to take a while to convert. Actually, at 4.4%, it really won't. Although, it's only there because you're also here. Who is also... Ridiculously... He bloody loves Catholicism. So, we only built the school in Palestine. That was the only significant upgrade. Okay, right. Balance the upgrades. So we're getting 5,000 to turn. Well, 5,000 to upgrade a port now. And it's going to take a while to upgrade a lot of them. But we can upgrade quite a few of these lower level industrial buildings in their place. Military upgrades are at the moment on the lower end. Kind of interested to not upgrade Naples yet because they are incredibly exposed from the Italian states. So I might actually upgrade first of all. And I know Naples is up there. Venice has the best port they can get anyway for the time being. Greece is next, but they they can only get the top tier, the next tier port. Patras have a commercial basin. Could raid Russian trade here, but we don't again we don't really have a navy. It's difficult to do that. Can you guys leave yet? In theory you can, but you're gonna stay here for one more turn just to make sure. Really, really max out the fact that we don't have to spend a bunch of money on on armies at the minute. <laughs> so only a matter of time. They're massing their forces again. You can see it. You can see it right there. They want to kill us. Okay, Russia has started the... Well, Russia has started the opening 
gambit, as it were. George has gone to raid us because we are at war with Georgia, that's fair enough. And the Barbary states are gonna raid us too. Nope. More religious agents. Get him into Istanbul and get him out the other side. Get him over to Baghdad, I suppose. Actually, no, get him. Let's, let's try and 100% convert Ankara so we can free up some of these religious schools. Mithra, you could be you could potentially be yoinked by some of our ships that we've built. Although, would Spain come to save you? I think the answer might be yes. Create a detachment. To head east. They will attempt to secure reinforcements on the route. Okay, port upgrades. Yes, and yes to Gaza. Road upgrade to Damascus, yes. Let's keep a presence here on this crossing, just to make it not quite as easy for them to push into our territory. Let's repair the cotton plantation to get some more goods out for production. One more turn to reorganised procurement. Let's get an Admiralty building. And at Hungary itself, let's upgrade you to a military governor's barracks to produce more stuff organically. We don't want to move anyone out because that's going to give them an, a green light. That's what your job is to advance eastward to engage and destroy these raiding forces. I don't like that, because it means the Dutch might be coming in to try and attack us. See, they're making their demands. Everything's very friendly at the moment, but... Same with Poland, you can see they're gearing up. And this is why having a relatively peaceful Middle East is beneficial for us. Because when war does kick off in Europe, we're going to be in a better position to weather it. Good. Keep the Dutch tied up. That's great. I don't mind if you do that. That is absolutely fine. 17,000 to be expected. We are recruiting more troops. Military tech. Reorganised procurement. I don't know. If... So, right. What do I want you on now? Back on to classical economics, I think. For the time being. Let's get the army board built. Let's get the gunnery school built. If we get the army board... Then we can research quick climb. Okay, that's four turns till we get that. That's okay. I'm gonna let everybody catch up with this army as they as they do. Oh, do I buy a ten grand port?
think I don't upgrade it, upgrade the big port yet. Not when I've got lots of other cheaper ports that could be upgraded first. Yuri Zhebek. Hey, Beirut, let's upgrade you. Religious unrest is dropping. Don't need any ordnance factories built just yet. Let's upgrade the craft workshop here. Let's get Vienna recruiting a unit of line infantry guards. They <laughs> slowly start to beef up our armies <laughs> because uh, something's going on. Okay. Yeah, you're going to try and chase down this army, which is fine. Chase them down, however, is the most appropriate for you. Here comes the British. Are they going to invade us? No. They are going to protect the Dutch harbour, but they may be coming our way. Pressure still moving westward. <gasps> Okay, safe to say they've landed an army off the coast of, what, well, towards Istanbul. I don't know how ready we are to immediately deal with that. To be fair, it's been a, a quite a, a big gap in my line for almost the entire campaign. It was only a matter of time before Russia started trying to do things in that area. They haven't landed. But we've not got the navy to do it I don't, unless they've got really rubbish ships. I don't think we've got the uh, we've got the firepower to stop them. So I've only got two fifths. I mean, if I, it depends if I can get my ships out from Venice, if they can get over there. Fourteen thousand again. Trades being blockaded and all this other good stuff. Fifth rates. Can you guys... See, these guys don't have the range to get here because they have to go around this guy. So the intention will not be to resist or to just to try and attack the troops landing. I think we end up needing to bolster... We'll effectively rapidly stand up a defensive force here in Romelia and support that with additional troops from Athens because so we can run them in, ship them in quite quick. You are needed to more acutely destroy this Russian force. We got eight thousand. I mean, I could, in, in theory, I could ship this army over there. Actually, okay, let's do that. Let's say right. We don't have to do this. If you land, I will respond by shipping my Jerusalem garrison around because they are free to move. Let's do that. It means we can actually sink a bit more money into our economy. Although what I probably want to do is use it to attack Samuel Samsurov. Attack and destroy this force. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for another episode of the Venice Campaign. Cheers everyone.